even get the Rapala in the water. Wow. Speedy Shiner, man. He can produce quick action. Let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, right there. Nice rainbow. Beautiful fish. On the speedy shiner. Speed spoons. Troll them, cast them, or jig them. If you want to get aggressive with trout, get a set of Kel Kellogg speed spoons and get your fish on. Available at the fishhuntshoot.com website. Howdy folks, Kel Kellogg here. Today I'm answering a question from an angler named Toby that lives right here in the Sacramento area. He's a fish sniffer reader and he also enjoys watching the Fish Hunt Shoot channel on YouTube. Um, and he asked me, what's the difference for trout between thin profile spoons and broad profile spoons. When he's, you know, when he was talking about thin profile spoons, he was talking about stuff like this, you know, this very thin speedy shiner. And when he was talking broad profile, he was talking about spoons like this, you know, this Thomas Lures, uh, Thomas Buoyant. You can see that's a very, very broad profile lure. It's got a very, you know, kind of a thread, thread fin shad kind of profile. Whereas the Speedy Shiner, it's thinner. It has more of a traditional minnow profile. Um, looks a lot like a pond smell. I think that's one of the reasons that the Speedy Shiner is so effective at so many lakes in Northern California. Plus, Trout seem to gravitate towards thin profile spoons and I think that's simply because they know that they can swallow them easier than something with a broad profile. But having said that, um, well a couple more points about these lures. With the thin profile you're going to get less flash and less vibration and a little bit subtler presentation than you are with the broad lure. That's going to put off more flash and more vibration. It's bulkier. It, it makes more disturbance moving through the water. It's got more surface area so it's going to throw more flash. So those are your kind of fundamental differences. But when it comes down to effectiveness on the water, a huge part of this is angler confidence. Up here in Northern California, we gravitate towards thin lures because we always have. We all, you know, grew up throwing cast masters, uh, humdingers, stuff like that, very thin profile lures. So a lot of times when we're out on the water, that's what we reach for. You know, in places like Colorado or down in the Eastern Sierra, the Thomas Buoyant has a reputation of being a trout killer. So a lot of guys there, first thing they put on in the morning is the Thomas Buoyant, or you know something like this, a, a big broad profile Colorado spoon or a can do it spoon, and uh, they go out, they catch fish on it. Catching fish increases confidence. Increased confidence means you're going to reach for that lure more and more often, and you're going to catch more and more fish on it. In closing, you should have both types of spoons in your tackle arsenal. If you're a speedy shiner guy, commit yourself. One morning, go out, start out with a Thomas Buoyant, experiment with it, play with it, and you're going to find out that it catches fish too, it probably catches just as many fish as a speedy shiner. Beyond that, it's just a matter of dialing in the speed to the temperament of the fish. You control a speedy shiner faster than you control a Thomas Buoyant. I like to troll fast. Some guys like to troll slow. Some guys like to mix in worms and crawlers and stuff like that. If you're going to do that, the Thomas Buoyant is a much better choice because you can run that at that one and a half to two mile an hour range very effectively. Whereas with the Speedy Shiner, you need to be up above two and a half, where it's just not its best. So it's kind of my take on it. Bottom line is fish which you have confidence in, always experiment never stop experimenting that's how you're going to learn about new lures new techniques new presentations and uh, get out of that rut if you always run thin spoons run some broad profile spoons if you run broad profile spoons all the time get some speedy shiners and speed up life in the fast lane it's good over here so anyway that's kind of my take Fishing's supposed to be fun, and part of the fun is experimenting, learning new things, and trying new gear. Anyway, this is Kel Kellogg. I'm signing off for now. Thanks for all the support, guys. The channel is exploding. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, and we'll catch you next time right here on YouTube. You have a great day. <laughs>